What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player breakdown, the ultimate player review of Puyol with gameplay, training guides and tips and tricks to get the most out of this player. The big question is with all these booster players, should you spin? It depends what you're spinning for. Do you need to spin to compete in Division 1? No, you don't. Does he help? Yes. And Puyol is probably one of the best destroyers in the game, but there are some alternatives all the answers to those questions that you have will be in this video. So hope you guys enjoy. Check it out. All right, lads, so we're going to kick off with Puyol's build. As you see down there, we'll revisit this in a few minutes. But essentially what we want to do is have his heading, his jumping, his physical contact and all his defensive stats as high into the 90s as we possibly can. Now, you're going to get an outrageous 97 jump on Puyol. Does that make a difference? Well, yes, I would say that it does because we're going to show you exactly why. We test everything, we research everything, and what better way than to actually show you gameplay clips to show you exactly what I'm talking about, right? So you will see here that we're going to be going up against King Collar versus Puyol. Defensively, we'll focus on that in a second. His positioning is fantastic, but look at this, man. Leaps like a fish out of water, like he's on a trampoline, up over King Collar. And Collar doesn't know what happens. He does. He thinks it's, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a Superman? No, it's Puyol, right? Destroyer Puyol. And this is where his real strength lies. He can attack on all angles, right? And defend on all angles, especially in the air, right? Again, we'll see another example. Is that just a flash in the pan? No. Watch how high up he gets into the pitch or into the air, right? Off the, off the ground. Um, ridiculous. You can see the length of Collar's legs there, but Puyol is up the same height as him. Now, this is kind of built-in animation-wise for players that have got a really good jump. And as you see the play develop here, um, that is that is kind of like a really big ability for Puyol. This has got to do with his jump, his physical contact, and obviously the fact that he's got the player skills. As I said, we'll revisit that and look at that build in a little bit more detail under a microscope in a few minutes. Now, on the ground as well, I would say that if you are making a decision to play with a destroyer, I would say that Puyol is one of the best destroyers in the game for hassling, harrying, and just getting blocks in. And this is what you want from your defenders. Now, you always need a defender to kind of hold position. Puyol is good at that, but it's not his main strength. His main strength is doing exactly what we say there, and what we see there is to, like, kind of be resetting himself, but then when he gets a sniff of the ball at all, he's literally like a, a shark in water, man, smelling blood. He just goes for it, right? Now, this can be to your detriment as well, because he is quite aggressive if you're not used to playing with aggressive defenders, but his positioning is pretty much better than anybody else in the game in terms of winning the ball. He always, always wins the ball for me, right? Now, you might ask, are we playing with this version of Booster Puyol? We're not. So we are playing with this version of Puyol, which we're going to be comparing, okay? I did spin for Puyol, but I didn't go deep for him. Because to be honest with you, lads, I would say save your coins for a little bit. And I already have Puyol, especially if you have a version of Puyol or a player that's a really similar destroyer. Now, what you get with Puyol, as I've already said, is really good on the stick control. He's really responsive on the pitch. And you're able to kind of like um, push him, pull him into whatever position you want. But when you're con being controlled, when the AI are controlling, he's exceptional as well. It just kind of like garden, right? He's kind of like a watchdog, lads, right? Like a Rottweiler at a pen. He's just unbelievable at just guarding the spots if your players are already kind of bursting out of position, okay? Now, from left to right, we have got Puyol, the legend version, which I have, and you're seeing the clips in this game uh, or in this video. We've got the booster version in the middle which is the clips that we're going to be talking about, and Hamina's as a GP alternative. All the, the, the player stats in green here are stats, obviously, that I would say are kind of secondary um, because they're under 90. But uh, this Puyol Booster's header, right, you can get that up quite high if you train him up the way that I'm training him here. And also, when they do fix up, fix up the manager boost and they probably add boosts, I would say that this Puyol booster is going to be one of the best defensive players in the game. Forget about his height. That is not really an issue if you get up very, very quickly with the ball and you're able to dominate in the air. The Puyol legend version, I would say that if you have him, I would not spin for this booster version, even though he's a phenomenal player. And there's if you want to stay free to play as a GP alternative. And you might talk about kind of like, you know, player skills and what makes a difference in this card. The player skills in green here, are skills held by all of these players. The ones in blue are held by just the two versions of Puyol, and the aerial superiority, Jimenez has that, Puyol booster has that, but the Puyol legend doesn't have it, right? So that's why I would say that this Puyol booster is going to be the best version they ever release, especially if you can upgrade boosters, which has been rumored. 
I feel like this Puyol could be one of the best players in the game. Now, I would say his best position is part of a back three with two really solid defenders and then one destroyer, but we'll see because the gameplay is probably prone to change with the next big update in December. But that is just a quick comparison between all the players, right? Puyol Booster is not going to just win you games automatically. You still need to do stuff with him, right? Positioning-wise, he's fantastic. There's no doubt about it in my mind that this Puyol is probably going to be one of the best, right? I have played probably 150 games of Puyol since I got him like a year ago and he is phenomenal right I've slotted him back into my squad now and he just doesn't make any mistakes man you see in the trailer here that they have he's just a phenomenal phenomenal defender right and so aggressive which suits my style so that is it for me lads whether I recommend him or not I mean listen if you've got coins you will definitely spend them on worse uh, worst players he is kind of like a mainstay in your center back partnership if you do have a four flat uh, at the back formation or even if you've got a three five two or any variation of that i definitely recommend him but i would say that you can get by without going for him as well right obviously it all depends on your perspective whether you want to spin for him or not but that is just a quick ultimate review of puyol let me know if you did spin for him i know a lot of people are calling him the goat defender in the game at the moment um tommy ashu says hello still but uh let me know what you think i think he's fantastic lads he's a joy to play with but let me know and i will talk to you later don't forget to like and subscribe peace